Hello, Flora's class. For World Book Day today, I'm going to read you a couple of chapters of The Adventures of Captain Underpants. Now, this is a chapter book. Okay, some of you might have read this before, some of you might not have read it yet. Chapter one, George and Harold. Meet George Beard and Harold Hutchins. George is the kid on the left with the tie and the flat top. Harold is the one on the right with the t-shirt and the bad haircut. Remember that now. George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They lived right next door to each other and they were both in the same fourth grade class at Jerome Horvitz Elementary School. George and Harold were usually responsible kids. Whenever anything bad happened, George and Harold were usually responsible. But don't get the wrong idea about these two. George and Harold were actually very nice boys. No matter what everybody else thought, they were good, sweet and lovable. Well, okay, maybe they weren't so sweet and lovable, but they were good nonetheless. It's just that George and Harold each had a silly streak a kilometre long. Usually that silly streak was hard to control. Sometimes it got them into big trouble and once it got them into big, big trouble. And before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story. Chapter two, Treehouse Comics Incorporated. After a hard day of cracking jokes, pulling pranks and causing mayhem at school, George and Harold liked to rush to the old treehouse in George's backyard. Inside the treehouse were two big old fluffy chairs, a table, a cupboard crammed with junk food and a padlocked crate filled with pencils, pens and stacks and stacks of paper. Now, Harold loved to draw and George loved to make up stories. And together, the two boys spent hours and hours writing and drawing their very own comic books. Over the years, they had created hundreds of their own comics, starring dozens of their own superheroes. First, there was Dogman, then came Timmy the Talking Toilet, and who could forget the amazing Cow Lady? But the all-time greatest superhero they ever made up had to be the amazing Captain Underpants. George came up with the idea, most zero superheroes look like they're flying around in their underwear, he said. Well, this guy actually is flying around in his underwear. The two boys laughed and laughed. Yeah, said Harold. He could fight with wedgie power. George and Harold spent entire afternoons writing and drawing the comic adventures of Captain Underpants. He was their coolest superhero ever. Luckily for the boys, the secretary at Jerome Horvitz Elementary School was much too busy to keep an eye on the photocopier. So whenever they got a chance, Harold and George would sneak into the office and run off several hundred copies of their latest Captain Underpants adventure. After school, they sold their homemade comics on the playground for 50 cents each. And I'm going to stop there. We are up to chapter three. So when you guys are back at school, we might continue reading the adventures of Captain Underpants. Happy World Book Day.